Hi, this is Nick from SC3000 Survivors. I just want to show you a couple of the um, things we've done with the multi cart recently. If you remember, this is the um, original pro the uh, prototype multi cart. Um, as you can see, it's all sorts of wires attached to a um, old um, Sega Basic cartridge. There. What I got in yeah. the post last week was a stack of these, which is um, basically the circuit board version of all those wires. Yep. So, as you see, yep. So it comes in a nice little stack, like a deck of playing cards. Um, just one of these here. If you have a look, there. Um, done by FutureLeak. Um, did a pretty nice job actually. Everything um, looks very neat and tidy. Got a um, nice silver sort of clean um, solder tin finish on the top. It's even got a nice little um, SC3000 um, www.sc3000.com thing on there so yeah pretty pleased with that. Um, I wired one up the other night so let's go and see how that looks. Daddy, yeah. I need to ask you some questions. Okay well why don't you ask me about this down? Come over here. <laughs> so um Dad, yes. why is there um, a blue light on it? Why is there a blue <laughs> That's a good question, darling. Basically, I wanted to play around with an LED, and um, the reset button was a good place to play with it. Um, that's why there's a blue light on it. Just get a little bit closer, sweetheart, so we can get a good look at it. That's right. It's right up here. Let me just hold that for a few seconds so we can get over the top. There we go. Cool. There we go. There's a nice close-up of it. So, as you can see, it's got um, two ROMs on there. Yes, but next question. Yes. Well, um, you hold that. is there a cover that you cover over the whole um, kind of section thing? <laughs> yes, um, that, yes, this does go back together. Watch what you're doing, sweet. Okay. Okay. Um, yes, I can put this back together, but I've just pulled it apart because when I had that um, breadboard one, there wasn't enough room to get the breadboard one in the side of the computer. So uh -huh. that's what it looks like this. Okay, so let's have a look at the screen. Just pan up here. Okay, so the other thing I've done is been it's good standing, perfect. The other thing I've been doing is working on the menu system here. So it's um, uh, it's now joystick or keyboard driven. You can just scroll around. Um, so I can just go through and select from large selection of cards. Let's have a look at this one. The only one that I've had some trouble with is this uh, Yaya Kung Fu, which is an MX, MSX port from Taiwan. Um, and hopefully it'll play nicely, but it's um, it's a cool little game. Yeah. So the other thing I can do is um, for some of the games I just might be going and sticking in a bit of extra information about it. See, I'll put like the publisher, a bit of information about the cart. Yeah, but um, next question, what is the whole kind of thing here yeah. is? Watch the screen, sweet. I mean, like, what is the kind of um, stuff that it's in, like, that, but do you put that into the TV or do you just leave it like in a case? All oh, right. Well, no, we we'll just leave it in the case like that and it plugs into the TV. Have a look down here, Sammy. So I played that game before and I get the boot menu back. So I just go and push my nice blue LED there. Mm -hmm. and the reset button. Then follow that with the reset button over here. Pan over here. Here we go. Reset button on the keyboard. It gets me my boot menu back. We can look at something else. Um, so I think I'll probably stick a bit of extra information in there, like I might stick a little bit of background information about the multi-cart and uh, maybe about Sega and stuff in there just for, for fun. Um, and of course the tape games are on this as well. Um, I'll rewrite the tape game menu to look like this a bit later, but at the moment it's um, got all those um, all the ones we had before, plus some extra ones. Like, um, oh, Delta Fighter, I don't know if this was on there before. This is actually a really cool, really cool tape game by Grant Ems, written in New Zealand um, back in uh, about 1986, I think it was. So as you can see, you can basically fly around. Um, this is, yeah, for, for an SC3000 uh, or SC3000 game, it's actually got a really big playing area. It's got a lot of detail. Um, so it's actually, actually a pretty cool game. you basically got to scroll around blowing up those flying eyes here. I don't know if you can, you know, see if I can find another one down here. Um, there we go, see those? The whole the object of that is to blow, it, blow up all those, and you go back to your aircraft carrier and you come around for the next round. Ooh, but hey, drop the bomber. Excellent. Oops, watch the middle of the screen there, Sam. That's it. Um, there's a lot of detail in this. Hey, Sammy, just watch what you do. That's it, there's a lot of detail in this game. There's even a giant pyramid and a lake up in the middle here somewhere, if I can find it. Um, oh, there we go, there's the lake. So, you know, this this was actually a pretty cool game. Bum! So that's um, one of the ones that you probably haven't seen. Sam, just keep it on. We've got to keep it on the screen. Daddy, I'm tired. Uh, um, 
what else we got here? Um, we'll come quickly okay. Through. We've got the, um, uh, the other good one here is Kevin's a Caramel, probably, which is another Jet Set Willy style game by uh, Mike Boyd. You basically got to go flying your way around solving um, little puzzles. These little tanks. Gonna go pick up these little. Oh, it's like that. So there you have it. Um, well, some of it anyway. The <laughs> camera person got a little bit tired. So, say so thank you, Sammy. <laughs> cool. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.